So the first thing you want to do is actually check out what is being sent currently um, to the data layer when somebody fills out, for example, a contact us form on your website. I have my fake website here, which is my fake shop, and I'm in my GTM container. I'm going to click on preview, which is going to be opening the debug view. I'm going to connect to it. I'm connected to a slash contact because that's the page that has my form and I'm going to fill it in. And this form leads to a thank you page. And we should be able to see all of this happening in GTM. So you can see here, thank you page where I landed in the end. That's my contact page. And here you have form submit, which is what's being pushed. Uh, I'm going to have a look at the data layer just to make sure that the email is indeed being pushed through it. And I can see here, my email is being pushed through. Um, one thing to say is that sometimes you won't have that data being pushed through to the data layer. In that case, talk to your developer because what they will need to do is just um, add a bit of a JavaScript snippet to your um, child theme or using a plugin. And that will allow you to push that information into GTM. Uh, for the test website, uh, we used uh, VP code, but there's so many other ways that you can do this. But we now know that the data is being pushed through the data layer, and we are moving on to step two, uh, which is uh, making sure that we add our user-defined variables into GTM.